Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also easily create batch invoices to give multiple selected customers an invoice for the same products or services. Before you create batch invoices, however, you should be sure you have the customer's information correctly recorded within the customers and jobs list in the customer center. QuickBooks uses the customer information you have entered to fill in the specific information for each customer when it creates the invoices. This includes the customer's terms, preferred delivery method, sales tax, and address information. QuickBooks uses this information to specify the customer's settings within each invoice created, as well as determine whether to print or email the invoice now or later. You should check your default preferences for sending forms in QuickBooks before creating batch invoices you intend to email. To do this, select Edit, Preferences from the menu bar. Then select the Send Forms icon in the list at the left side of the Preferences dialog box that appears. On the My Preferences tab to the right, ensure that the Auto Check the Email Later checkbox if Customer's Preferred Delivery Method is Email checkbox is checked. This ensures that batch invoices created for customers who have a preferred delivery method of email will have the email invoices marked as email later. Customers with a preferred delivery method of mail will have the to be printed checkbox checked within their batch invoices. If the delivery method is unspecified, neither box will be checked. After checking the send settings in the preferences dialog box, click the OK button to apply them. To create batch invoices, select customers Create batch invoices from the menu bar. You can click the OK button in the message box that appears if needed. In the batch invoice window, you can then select the customers for whom you want to create the batch invoices. To create a one-time batch invoice for customers, select the names of the customers or customer jobs from the left list, and then click the Add button to move them into the list at the right side of the dialog box. To instead create a billing group of customers to more easily select a set of customers for whom you may send out regular batch invoices in the future, instead click the Billing Group drop-down in the upper right corner of the window, and then select the Add New command to open the Group Name dialog box. Type a name for the group of customers into the Name field, and then click the Save button to create the group in the right list. Then select the names of the customers or customer jobs to add to the group from the left list, and click the Add button to add them into the group at the right side of the window. When finished, click the Save Group button below the right list to save the customers into the billing group you created. In the future, you will be able to select the name of the billing group you created from the Billing Group drop-down to automatically select those customers in the group when creating batch invoices. You can also select customers in a billing group and click the Remove button to remove them from the list. Be sure to click the Save Group button again after doing this to save the changes to the group. To manage the groups you have created, to rename or delete them, you can click the Manage Groups button in the upper right corner of the window to open the Manage Billing Groups window. You can select the name of a billing group in the left list to manage first. To rename the group, type a new name into the Billing Group field to the right, and then click the Save button below the field. To delete the billing group, Simply click the Delete button below the Billing Group field and then click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears. You can click the Close button in the Manage Billing Groups dialog box to close it and return to the Batch Invoice window when finished. After selecting the customers to Batch Invoice, click the Next button at the bottom of the window to continue. In this screen, enter the invoice date into the Date field and, if needed, select the invoice template to use from the template drop-down. Then enter the line items that will appear in the invoice by clicking into the first row under the item column and selecting the first invoice item from the drop-down that appears. Enter the quantity and rate for the item under the quantity and rate columns. Also be sure to check or enter the value in the amount column if needed. Repeat this process as needed until you have added all of the required line items into the line item area. If needed, you can enter a customer message to print on the batch invoices into the Customer Message field at the bottom of the screen. When finished, click the Next button to continue. 
In the last screen, double check the invoice information shown for each customer. If there is a customer invoice you do not want to create, you can click into the leftmost select column to remove the check mark from that row and skip creating an invoice for that customer. When you are ready to create the invoices, click the Create Invoices button at the bottom of the screen to continue. In the Batch Invoice Summary dialog box that appears, you can see the summary of the invoices that were created grouped by Send method. To batch print the invoices from this batch group, click the Print button in this dialog box. To batch email the invoices from the batch group, click the Email button instead. When you are finished reviewing the summary, you can click the Close button in the dialog box to close the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.